And I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. It's your favorite homegirl, E. Reed, and I'm back with another reality review where we are going to watch the haves and the have-nots. So make sure you go ahead and grab your snacks or whatever you like to enjoy when you're listening or watching the show. Um, so on my on demand, they have changed the numbers of the episodes. So as of now, we're supposed to be on episode eight, but they've changed it. So now it's called it's episode 42 of season five. So I don't know if that's a glitch in the system or what. But what I do know is that um, we are watching epi season five, episode number 42, as what they're calling it now. And the title of the episode is called Morning. And the caption is why it takes the witness stand to intent, why it takes the witness stand intent on revenge. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I hope you got all your stuff. Make sure you follow me on all the platforms, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Halanis, um, everything. Just type in readality, e-read, readality. Anything e reality e read is gonna pop up on every platform that I'm on. So with that being said, just Google that and you'll find me really simple. All right, let's get started. You know they're gonna do the recap. I've already um lined up for them to do the recap. You guys already know how this goes. I'ma play it in the background. So it's like we're watching it together and we're gonna have the chit chat together while the show is going on. So it's like we watching it. You know, side by side, in the same room, but virtually. That makes sense? Okay, hope so. All right, let's get started because I'm starting to ramble. And y'all know when I ramble, I just be going on and on and on. So, let's see. I think they're going to do a commercial first, maybe? Yep. So, if y'all remember, just to catch up a little bit, uh, Hannah and uh, Miss Hannah and Candace were beating up on... Um, <laughs> We're beating up on Jim, and Hannah threatened him and said, you better not touch any of my kids, and we left off with her kids actually standing outside of the crier's house, and Benny's yelling at Jim, and B Mitch is with Benny, and uh, Wyatt is in jail. He's being held because he wants some he wants some dope in order for him to testify for the DA, you uh, remember Jeffrey is still going back and forth between Madison and that crazy boy, Justin. But we all know that Jeffrey is going to keep entertaining Justin. And uh, President-elect Charles and Candace have reunited and reconnected. And she's actually starting to be more open and letting her guard down to uh, President-elect Charles. And lastly, you have what's going on with Veronica and David. David has confessed his love for Veronica. Veronica has fallen for it. And here we are. So this is called The Morning because it's taking place after the morning after Candace and President-elect um, wake up together because they went to sleep together last night or the night before. It's a good thing. What are you dealing with? I'm 
will drag you down that road another day. Last night was about you. Last day in here was tough. What do you mean? This is Landon's room. Oh. Something like the uh, Secret Service. No. We cleared the floor. And what are you feeling about all of this? What's the weight of it? As I said, this is just about you. I have to go to DC to meet with the president. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah, well, this is the part where you say you want to come with me. <sighs> Charles. What? I don't know about that. You afraid? No. Okay, you are. Do you want to come? I do. Then come. Are you sure I won't ruin it for you? <laughs> That Mr. President elect. This must be good. That little shit you were doing. I think I had you beat. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all think President elect Charles used to do? You think he used to be like a pimp or something? Like a major pimp? I wonder what he used to do. I want to know his story. I really do. I'm so curious. I want to know what he used to do, man. I hope they don't take forever in exploiting what his storyline is. Because he be talking so much. Making it seem like he was like, you know, a big wig or something. Drug lord. Major pimp. Maybe he was an arms dealer or something. Hmm. I can't help but wonder what it could be, though. Because he'd be talking down to Candace like, you wasn't doing nothing like you was doing small potatoes compared to what I was doing. Like, what was you doing, Mr. Charles? Oh, my goodness. It's like, what? But you know what, though? I'm glad Candace got a little bit of a break. I feel like anytime you're going through something so heavy in your life and she's still grieving the loss and murder of her son and she hasn't accepted you know, his passing or whatever, or she's going through the acceptance of his passing. Like, I feel like I'm glad she's able to find somebody in her crazy, chaotic, dysfunctional world that this man is willing to be like, you know what? Trust me. Let your guard down. Let me take care of you. You know, even if it's for a moment. So I'm here for that. I'm, I'm glad she's able to get that. I feel like everybody deserves a comforter somewhere. You know? Everybody ain't perfect. Everybody not perfect. But um, I'm just glad she able to do that. Now, as far as Jeffrey go, I wish Jeffrey would catch a clue. I'm Like I said, y'all been hearing me complain about Jeffrey's storyline for, you know, for the last couple of uh, podcasts. And I'm just so over his storyline. Like, I really am. Like, I need something to happen with that. Because it just makes no sense to me. M Madison is a good person. And he is just dogging Madison out. To entertain Justin, of all people. Like, Justin, come on, man. Dysfunction. That's all I can say. It's dysfunction. But, hey, what, you know... I hope the writers know what they're doing. And I, you know what I also wonder? I wonder if uh, Tyler, I wonder if Tyler is ever in the room with the writers as they're creating the storylines. Or has he just kind of like delegated that full responsibility over to them? You know what I'm saying? 
Because I feel like if he delegated the full responsibility over to them, they should be doing a lot better with their storylines. Okay? Like, maybe they should do some research and watch some real daytime soap yeah. operas to get a clue. Part. You feel better? So much. It's not easy changing who you are. It's show sure not. It's yes, it is. Yes, it is. I know where to start. It's not easy changing you who you are, but it's possible. Amen to that. She gotta be tired of fighting our mama, man. She just gotta be. I'm coming. I'll be done with press around soon. I'd like to see you tonight. I'm here. Wait, what? <laughs> Stop. I just like hearing you say it. <laughs> oh, I must have did the damn thing last night. She's so girly. Candace is being so girly. It's cute. Sir? Yes, I know. I should get dressed, have a shower, and get in the car. Yes. That's so cute, y'all. Yes. Sorry for uh, commandeering your room last night. No problem. Oh, yeah, FYI, yeah. The, um, Candace and the president didn't sleep together last night. Like, they slept together, but with their clothes on, yeah. on top of the covers. Yeah, so they didn't have sex. He just held her all night, gave her some intimacy that she yeah, long we needed. Okay. I can see why. Uh-oh, look at you showing your soccer side. Oh, don't get it twisted. I'm still Miss Candace. I know, I know, I get it. I know who you are. But I do feel better, Landon. Bitch. I didn't believe him. But 
He knows you. He doesn't know anything. He does. And as far as Washington is concerned, she is girly, y'all. The look on her face is like a little schoolgirl like crush. It's cute. Really? Candace, you're smart, charming, you're beautiful. You got this. And if all else fails, you just lean on that gorgeous man of a president that I would kill for just one night with. I can do it. Look at me. You can, and you will. But not in those tech clothes you've been wearing. I have nice things. <laughs> For Santana. Whatever. Well, luckily, we still have our team waiting with wardrobe, so be DC ready before you know it. Okay. This is going to be fun. You're going to slay them. I hope so. Now, can you please get out of here so I can shower? Unless you want to see me naked. Uh, yeah. I'll see ya. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You know, I got a hand it to Landon. Landon came out all right. He done came a long way from that scandal when Jim was trying to run for governor. Y'all remember that? That's how long, man, that was a while ago, though, when he was trying to run for governor. Ain't that something? I'm glad he survived, though. Because I was worried about Landon. And then he had disappeared for a little mini. And then he popped right back on up. <laughs> so I'm glad they didn't kill off his character, man. I'm so glad they didn't kill off his character. Because he a good dude. He really is a good dude. He's smart, too. I will give him that. He know when to fall fall back. <laughs> you probably the only character who knows how to fall back on this show. Like, hold on, let me not get involved in that. But, you know, it is what it is. That's why I say I feel like the writers should do a little bit something more when it comes to Jeffrey and his storyline and his confidence level. Like, it almost, it, it appeared at one point where it looked like Jeffrey was coming into his own as being the individual and making his own decisions and not being persuaded or swayed in any way by anyone. Then all of a sudden he meet Justin and all that common sense just went straight out the window. I'd be screaming, man. Before I started doing these, uh, this the this version of Reality Radio with the Reality Reviews and letting y'all listen to it, man, I used to watch this show by myself. And be screaming at the TV. Okay? Like, seriously. Like, Jeffrey, what is you doing, man? But Veronica, the one who I feel like it isn't getting her just due. All the dirt Veronica done did and she still ain't got her just due. Okay, so she fell off a banister. She's still here. She's still working and functioning. It's just like, oh my goodness. You know, there's always that one antagonistic character where you just like, you know what? You should get what's coming to you by some way, shape, form, or fashion. And the fact that she has not yet and we this many seasons in, come on. No jail time, no nothing. Even though out of all of them, you know, Jim, David, and Catherine, Veronica is the smartest when it comes to that legal thing. She is the smartest. All right, it's back on. We back at David's house. And look who we're with. Jeffrey. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you feeling? I'm good. All right. That's good. I'm still pretty bruised up. I'm, I'm sorry. I still can't believe you did this. I know. I'm sorry. I feel bad. Yes, I do. I don't know why. Place. Well, I'm, I'm trying to first 
just make sure that my dad is. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! My computer just cut off. Hold on, y'all. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Hold on. All right, we back, y'all. Fixed it. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we back at Je at uh, David's house. Jeffrey' phone is aunt is uh, ringing, and we all know that is Justin. How are you? Why did Justin just say, I can't believe you did yes, this? Do. He didn't beat you up, honey. You His daddy got well, you beat up. I have to take care of your dad. Yeah, yeah, Justin. Look, Jeffrey, I just want you that little break gave me enough time to go make me some homemade nachos. Well, I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> first make sure that my dad is okay. Uh, what about me? You were burned. Jeffrey, I was beat bad. I know. I mean, the least you can do is come say hi. How come Justin don't got no stitches on his face? Them cuts looks like humongous on his face. Yes. Alright, when? Uh, it, it'll have to be later on tonight. What time? Uh, I'll call you and let you know. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Ew. Uh, why are you telling him you love him? Are you listening to my conversation? I just had a breakfast. So you heard it. Jeffrey, I was just having breakfast. <laughs> and even if he did hear it, so what? I didn't like you in school. Yeah, why is that? Because you are so damn nosy. I'm nosy. And you're the one having conversations loud enough to hear from the kitchen. I was whispering. And all you had to do was say that you were over there. That's that's crazy, Jeffrey. Anyway. Like he need to announce his presence. Yeah, he is. Jeffrey, who are you? Tell him, about this. Tell him what? What you heard? What did I hear? That you love him? <laughs> you know Listen, Jeffrey. I am sorry for telling your dad what happened. Okay? Well, you better not tell him about this. Yeah, I won't. But you need to listen to me, okay? You cannot go over there. You were hanging on every word. He's gonna try to kill you, Jeffrey. He's dangerous. What else did you hear? No, listen, Jeffrey. You are gonna hear Jeffrey me right now. Jeffrey is stupid. Lower your voice. There are situations like this where people will try to hurt you, manipulate you, and destroy you, okay? It's not gonna end up well. He's going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna hurt me. Okay. I've said all that I can say here. Well, like I said, do not tell my father about this. Don't tell your father what? <laughs> what you don't want your daddy to know. Don't tell your father what? Nothing. What is it? Dad. Is this about that boy? It's fine. Are you still seeing him? Are you still seeing mom? Jeffrey, you don't understand that. Well, why don't you make me understand? It's complicated. I'm a smart guy. Try me. I don't want to get into that right now. Well, then I don't want to get into talk about Justin right now. That boy is dangerous. And so is mom. Son, I forbid you to see him. And I forbid you to see him. I am your father. And I am your son. I'm just going to leave, guys. That's yeah, it. you the son, which Madison, means you stay in a son's place. No, Madison. Leave. This is still my house. Okay. Okay, Dad, yeah, it's, this is your house. And that's hers. So, you know what? I'll just go find somewhere else. Jeffrey. No, no, no. I can't do this. And, and, I, and I won't. I'm sorry. If, if you're going to be with her, then you can't tell me that I can't see him. Don't do this. I'm trying to protect you. How? By sending people to beat him half to death? By sending him a message in a language he understands. Violence. Mm. Well, maybe it's time you send mom a message she understands. 
Jeffrey then accidentally pushed over his mama over a banister. Now he all gangster and he got all wise and got wisdom. Boy, bye. Jeffrey is irritating. I just want to like kick him in the knees. Mm-mm. That don't make no sense, y'all. Like, at all. It don't. Like, I don't, I don't understand. What does Justin do for him? What kind of, why would you want to invite crazy into your life? I don't get it. Especially given the fact that that same kind of crazy is what you don't want your daddy to be around when it comes to your mama. Mm-mm. And this is why I say the writers need to pick up the country pace when it comes to his storyline because it's getting boring. It's getting boring and it's getting tired. It'd be one thing if this was an everyday storyline, but this is a once a week. And sometimes you'd be taking four month breaks or three month breaks in order to just finish off a season. So I'm going to need you to pick up the country pace when it comes to Jeffrey's storyline, Mr. Have, Mr. and Mrs. Have and the Have Not writers. Okay? Because this is just getting to be too much. Of the same repetitive thing, like, I don't know. Like I said, I thought Jeffrey had, you know, got a little wiser after that whole situation with war when him and Candace killed war. But, especially after that, because after he killed war, he the kind of, you know, kind of puffed out his chest a little bit more. Did y'all notice that? And then Justin comes along and puts him back in his place like, you know, like a little puppy dog in the corner. Then he started bucking up at uh, Justin. Because he saw that Justin wasn't going to go nowhere. And Justin was willing to do whatever he told him to do. That's crazy, y'all. And you can't reason with crazy, okay? You just can't. Oh, um, that is actually a good show. Family versus fiance, that is actually a good show. I did watch it. I watched the first episode. So, I don't know. I might do... I think I'm going to do that show. I'm going to do a review on that show. But I think I'm going to do it on my anchor platform where I just give my opinion and my review and not have it playing in the background. I to take evidence from the evidence room. Yes. All right, we at the did grand jury right now. Not. Give it to Jim Cryer. Yes. Why would you do that? He was blackmailing me. I did some things in college that would have caused me not to be able to practice law. Is that a secret? Yes. I want the grand jury to see exhibit A. Is this your picture? Yes. Is this why he's blackmailing you? Yes. Have I or anyone in the DA's office offered you a deal to testify? So why are you doing this? I committed a crime, and I'm willing to pay for it. Oh? Okay. Thank you. We'd like to call the next witness. And the next witness should be Wyatt. Send me Wyatt, please. Yep. Why? Have a seat, Mr. Cryer. Mr. Cryer, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? 
Mr. Cryer, on the <laughs> night in question, were you involved in a motor vehicle accident? Yeah. And can you tell the grand jury what happened? Damn, they going all the way back to season one. Murdered that little girl. Oh. Did you know who that man was? That's right. We found out it was Ben Young. Okay. Go on. I thought they were gonna go back to the original crime when he killed that little girl. Drove onto the sidewalk. I don't remember it, but I found out that I hit a little girl. If you don't remember it, how do you know? I was told. You were told. Now, Mr. Cryer, the night of the accident, were you under the influence of any illegal substance? Why you just didn't ask if he was under the influence? Yeah. Under any substance? Why it had to be illegal? What if he was yeah, drunk? That would have made a difference. On the sidewalk. What was her name? Lizzie Castillo. And would it be this little girl? Yeah. After you hit her, what did you do? I went home to my parents' house. What did you say? I told them I hit someone. Now, what did your parents say after you told them that? Mom and Dad said they'd handle it. They, they covered it up. How did they cover it up? You really spilling all the tea. Veronica Harrington? Yeah. What about her? She hit my car. And, um... It's okay. I want the grand jury to see Exhibit A. Jim always got somebody in the cut. Why did he hang up? You need to find out what else he gonna say. David. So Jim had a spy inside the um the indictment room. I'm sitting outside the grand jury room and Wyatt is singing like a bird. Yes, he is. Tweet, 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 tweet. Who the hell you think to who to the grand jury? The grand jury? How the hell could Wyatt convene a grand jury? George is after us. I see. David. We need a plan. What's Fast. the plan, David? Make some calls, get some information. You need to get your son in line. Yeah. I know that. As soon as he walks his ass out of that room, I swear. Are you sure he's going to walk? Yes, I'm sure he's going to walk. This is his immunity deal, David. Handle your son, Jim. Yes, I know. My son is. I'm on it. Okay. Hang on. Get your ass out of here. He's got another thing coming. We're going to take everybody down with us. He doesn't know us at all. No, he does not. Not one bit. I oh, snap. On the phone, I want you and her to meet me at the house in one hour. Okay. I'm going to make a few calls and I'll get Catherine. She'll meet us there, too. Yeah, it's good now. Yeah. We have to make good on this, David. This is Ooh. a very bad deal. They finna bring out the big guns, the big guns. That's what they finna do, y'all. They finna have a powwow and figure it out. Can I 
Come on. You already in the house. And it's yours. Why she always got to throw that in every, every scene? She always got to say that. Jesus. If you don't like where you at, leave. I'm so very sorry. Catherine, I spoke to him. He is my son. I know. And I understand. And I know you are very protective of him. I'm protective of both of my children. I know that too. I can't believe your husband would do something like that. Well, can't excuse that he's an asshole. But I promise you he won't do it again. Yeah, I'm not so sure because he was sure pretty convincing. I know, but he won't. How can you be so sure? Because he knows when I am angry. Well, that doesn't seem to matter all that much. Trust me on this. I hold her strings, and he's mad as hell. That's why he wants Wyatt's money so badly. He spent all of his money on whores and women, and I'm his sole supporter. And your daughter, Catherine, I didn't say anything about her, but that's why he's so crazed. Well, I'm gonna get that money to you, but I'm not giving him nothing, okay? As soon as Benny gets better, we'll go to the bank. He seems to be pretty better enough to sign his name on a dotted line, Miss Hannah. And how does it feel? He out riding around with Mitch and showing up at Jim Cryer house. I'm pretty sure he can go to the bank, sit down in the chair, and sign his name. It feels scary. Come on, Hannah. It has got to feel really good. Eight million dollars. If I earned it. Then it might feel good. Well, speaking of earning, no, ma'am. I didn't say come back to the house. You know that's not going to happen. She ain't ask you that. Yeah, I'll be moving up out of here. And I'm really looking for a place to stay. I'll be out of here as soon as I can. No, this place belongs to you. I'm not asking you to come back to my house. But the hotel is there, Anna. And Jim doesn't have anything to do with it. Catherine, come on. You like to work. And at the end of the day, you need a job. Yeah, okay. That's better. Okay, I'll call Broderick. And I'll just set up the whole dog and pony show. Who is he? The manager. How do you say his name? Broderick. It's kind of rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Please stop that. Stop what? Broderick. Whatever that is. That. <sighs> How are things with you and Derek? Catherine, I'm really not in the mood to talk to you about that. <sighs> Come on. When are you ever Come in the mood? When are you ever in a good mood, Hannah? What? This show been on me. five seasons, I and I ain't never seen you in a happy mood. Am I seeing? That lasted longer than an episode. Jesus. Well, things are good. I like it. I like it. I knew you would. I really like him a lot. He's a good man. Yes, he is. I was a little scared when I saw him standing with Veronica. Yeah, well, you don't have to worry about any of that. I'm about to listen to you about him. If it bothers you so much, just ask him about it. I will not. And why not? Because whatever is supposed to be will be revealed. Ever the faithful. <laughs> yes, indeed. Which only goes to show the fact that Miss Hannah just said that means that the truth is about to come out between Derek and Veronica because if y'all remember I think it was like if you've been watching it there was a scene where well, there was several scenes where Veronica and Derek in, had an encounter with each other in conversation and she was threatening him to basically hook up that whole uh, bomb thing for uh, David and his girlfriend Erica 
So Derek isn't the one who did it himself, but he knew somebody who knew somebody that could do it. So that's where Derek come in at. And apparently, I bet you, if anything, Veronica helped Derek somewhere down the road with some legal issues or something. So, that's probably why she got him hang, you know, got him by the uh, balls when it comes to doing something and he be the lackey. Plus, I think they used to have an affair, too. I can't remember. But I think they used to have an affair, Derek and Veronica. So, there's that. But anyway, oh my goodness. Oh, so I had to do a little stretch, y'all. You know, it's always good to stretch yourself out. But y'all leave a, a comment in the comment section down at the bottom of what you think so far, especially when it comes to um, the whole situation between Catherine and Miss Hannah and this money and Benny having to sign over the money. Like, the money don't technically belong to Jim or Catherine. It belongs to Wyatt because it's his inheritance money. But Candace stole it and gave it to her family. And Catherine wants to give it to um, Miss Hannah. But Miss Hannah's pride won't let her take it because of how it was given to her. So, yeah, you know. I guess it's just one of them things. I will say this. I can understand not wanting blood money. I can understand that. But when it comes to the opportunity being presented to you by the owner of that money saying you can have it and you still turning it down. Come on now. That's like you losing, you finding some money. Or some money accidentally pop up in your bank account and you try to return it. You return it and they just say, go ahead and keep it. And then you say, no. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, it's back on. The commercial's over. <laughs> I'm not smiling. It's Jim. Catherine. What? You need to get home. Don't tell me what to do. Your son is testifying at this very moment to a grand jury. You need to get your ass home and we all need to talk. Who's we? Who the hell do you think is we all? Me, you, Veronica, and David. Is that serious? No. Yeah, he, serious. he's singing like a yeah, canary to the grand jury. I'm calling you. Okay. Now, Catherine. Bad news? Very. I need to go. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. hey. <coughs> Penny, I'm sorry. But your mother put quite an ass whooping on Jim. And I spoke to him. He won't bother you again. Hi. Uh, I really am sorry. Yeah, Benny seemed strong enough to go down to the bank to sign some papers, Miss Hannah. So if he was really about that life and it's that serious, then you would take him down here right now. No, it's not. So much. No, I don't appreciate that. All right? I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, bye. Okay, that's the thanks I get, huh? For helping you out? Sorry. I, uh, that's all I do is help you out. Bye. That's what I get. For real, he done saved your life several times, Benny. Mitch is way more of a man yeah. than you are, Benny. Sorry. So what happened over there at the Crab's house? None of your business. You ain't gonna yeah. do nothing. Everything in the world is under the What happened? Let's put it this way. I think he knows how far I'll go to protect my kids. See, I was fighting. Wore his ass out. <laughs> you and Dennis? Yeah. Damn. What? So it takes the devil to make your team up, huh? 
So you're calling yourself the devil because it took you. So she called you or something? No. I was already over there. She came after me, so I guess she knew. No, she ain't know. Benny, I want to talk to you about anything other than signing those papers. I know. Then let's do it. Look, my stomach hurts. Look, that money is not hers, and it's not ours. I know. Benjamin, we're going to the bank first thing in the morning. Yeah, that's my stomach's not hurting. I'm not playing with you. Who is it? I got it. I got it. Oh, I got it. Let him send somebody to this damn door. Ma. Hush. What you going to do, Benny? You can't even defend yourself. You done been shot at, stabbed, and hit by a car. Get out of here, man. Ain't nobody safe around, Benny. What are you doing? Everything's fine. You can go home. How you doing? Dude, go home. Don't you have a home? Come on, let's go and get the picture. Benny, do you have a home? too much money doing that. I don't know why. What, you secretly rich or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I'm not. I can't cook. What? What do you mean? Uh, no, I'm just saying I had you cooking. Boy, you doing <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was cute. <laughs> Benny, what you gonna do? Go lay down with your stomach hurting having cells. <laughs> this is just too much. Please, Benny talking about... How Benny gonna turn to Miss Hannah and say, you better be glad my stomach hurting? What you gonna do if your stomach not hurting, boy? You don't talk to your mama like that. Oh, wackadoo. Anyway, what y'all think about that? Leave a comment in the comment section. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So y'all don't miss out on stuff. I got new stuff coming, too. Where it's going to be um, a little bit more of me talking versus some of the music. I'm working on the whole music thing. I'm going to get back to doing my music shows again. I got some new ideas for some new things. So... It shall be coming. It shall be renewed. But in the meantime, in between time, we're going to enjoy these reality reviews. <laughs> oh. But um, I wonder what else is going to come out in between Tyler Perry doing the movies. You know, as far as producing movies and then him doing the stage play. Because I still feel like he's not killing off Medea. Like, he'll never be Medea again. 
I feel like he's doing Medea still, but he'll only do it for stage plays because that's where Medea originated from, was from the stage plays, which is where he got his start from. And remember, Medea is a combination of his mom and his aunt, and he was he is he was really close to his mama. So I feel like his decision is to have Medea only be at the stage plays because if she's only at the stage plays, people who want to see Medea, they will travel to go watch a Medea stage play. You know what I mean? It kind of makes Medea more exclusive. It's like she was exclusive before only at the stage plays. Then he made Medea's character open to the world by doing movies and now it's almost like he's taking Medea's character away from the world platform of movies and bringing her back to home which is the stage place and if that is his strategy ladies and gentlemen let me tell you it's a brilliant one it is an absolute brilliant strategy if that's what he's doing so I'm here for it I really, really am. I wish they would do stage plays up here. You know, I might travel to Seattle to go see a stage play. Especially a Tyler Perry. Oh, we back at the courthouse. Wyatt is done testifying. They really gonna kidnap Wyatt in front of the police station. In a white van. Wow. You just don't learn. Get us the hell out of here. Wow. So what they gonna do to him? So we back at the crier house. It's time for the big town hall meeting. <laughs> that is a beautiful house. Like, um, you don't know who I am? What? Let me tell you something. Catherine and Veronica be snatched, baby. They be straight snatched. I'm here for it. Place. We thank you. Seems much brighter than it was before. Oh, it's always been bright. Hmm. It seemed darker before. Oh, my father's bedroom was darker. Well, I wouldn't know about that. Oh, no, you wouldn't know, would you? What'd you do with all of his things? Oh, just packed them all up in the basement. Oh. Have you seen the basement? Now, why would I have seen the basement? Oh, no reason. Just... I'm sure it's pretty creepy down there. Mm, not so much. Just a whole wall of his things. Mm, I'm sure. Mm. What's she know about the day? I'm sorry. I must be rude. Can I offer you a drink? Or ten? No. I'm trying to stop. Mm. Brave woman. Well, it's not like I had a problem with it or anything. Oh, no. Of course not. So. Have you heard the news? And what news would that be? David and I are getting back together. Really? Yes. Well, that's just great. Good. Really good. Well, I'm 
I'm supposed to be meeting him here. Do you know what it's about? Wyatt, apparently. Oh, what about Wyatt? Oh, he's testifying before the grand jury about us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really? Yeah. Well, that can be problematic. <laughs> yes, to say the least. For the two of you. For all of us. So that's what this is about. Apparently. Okay, you want me to work my Veronica lawyer magic. Mm -hmm. Conjure up your best spell. Okay. So when did the grand jury meet? Today. Today. Let me make some phone calls, see what I can find out. Thank you. You should go up into your room and stay there. You think you scare me, really? I'm not playing around with you, Wyatt. Go up to your room and stay there. I'm hungry. Let him hey, go. Hey, 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 hey! So help me, Wyatt. If you try to sneak out of this house again, oh. what are we grappling? What are we doing? We playing? Are we children? Get the hell in your room. You did it. You know what? Let me tell you something. I think today is actually the day that I want to stay. <laughs> Today's the day. David, dear, stupid. He's meeting me here. I'll try to call him on the phone. Okay. And I'll make some phone calls to see what I can find out. Terrific. Jim. David. I see the gang's all here. Yes, come on in. You've been uh, following. Great. Run it. Say Everybody looking at do like great what? News. <laughs> what great news is that? Oh, Jim looked at David like, like, did you just Veronica kiss her? Getting back together. <laughs> you now need to take this. <laughs> is that a fact? Look at Jim face. Jim like, I know this is some BS. <laughs> Y'all, I'm too through, I'm too through, I'm too through. Really, why you go to the basement to go look for booze? Really, that's what we do. We go to the basement. That's the natural instinct to go to the basement to look for booze. And opened up an old chest that looks like it's got guns in it. Got him a 12 gauge. You telling me he finna try and shoot them? The crazy part is, even if he do kill him, he still won't have no money. Cause I'm sure they don't leave it. They didn't leave nothing over to him, even though he would be the last living kin. Which means he would still have to kill uh, Benny and Hannah 
to even get to the money, which he still wouldn't get to the money. What is he finna do with that gun? Next, on the haves and the have-nots. I'm just gonna go and see if he's okay. He's trying to manipulate you to get you to stay. Please do not go in there, Jeffrey. I'll be fine. This guy gives me such bad vibes. Can't Madison wasting his breath. Well, the drunk in the corner is not helping. I beg your pardon. I'm gonna end this. What are you talking about? They're all together, man. No one would blame me, right? I love this one. Then you should wear it. If I thought it would turn him on, I totally would. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, that's all for now, y'all. I'm gonna be back with the next the last the latest episode that just happened this week. And don't forget, I still gotta go ahead and take care of those two episodes of um 60 Days In. Um the episode that just the episode that aired last week and the episode that aired this week, which was the season finale for um 60 days in which was a two hour finale um which was very good to say the least i've already watched it but i know i was paying attention to some something else so i know i gotta watch it again so we'll be able to do that together that's gonna be a longer episode though y'all because that episode is two hours long so i hope you don't mind being with me for two whole hours i hope so all right that's all i got for y'all now i love you make sure you love yourself and i'll talk to you later okay bye